hello and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Dr. Jerome Lavelle, and I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. Well, today we will be looking at the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verses 1 and 5 through 9. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord, my God, has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully. For thus you will give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has gods so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon Him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law, which I am setting before you today. However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. Today in Deuteronomy chapter 4 verses 1 and 5 through 9, we hear Moses instructing the Israelite people to follow the law. Recall that Moses wrote the book of Deuteronomy, a word from the Greek which means repeated law. Deuteronomy means repeated law. And in this book, Moses does not reveal new law, but rather it is a commentary and instruction on laws that already are given by Yahweh. In other words, repeated law. And so today we hear Moses reasoning with his people. He says that it is wise and intelligent. He says it reflects well on them as a people. He said it is a testament to others. And he says that we will openly prosper if we follow, internalize, and live the laws and the decrees that God has handed down. He is cheerleading and inspiring their hearts. The laws and decrees are so important that Moses tells his people to teach these to your children and to your children's children. In other words, they are so worthy that they should be followed from generation to generation. What he's really saying is, Hey guys, it is so easy. Just take the straight path. Follow the rules and everything will be great. And we know this too in our own lives. We know what is best. We know what is true. We know how our lives, our joy, our health, our spirit, our outlook go when we stay on the straight path. And yet it is so easy to find ourselves on the crooked road. In our fallen world, the road to sin is wide. Jesus tells us in Matthew 7 verse 13, enter by the narrow gate for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction. And yet he explains in John 10, Verily, verily, I say to you, I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. In other words, Jesus is that narrow gate to salvation. My reflection today is to contemplate the reality of our human condition. We know what is right and holy, and yet... We know the pot of gold, the peace, the serenity that awaits us, and the saved and the righteous in eternity, and yet. We know how we feel and the impacts on our lives when we tread the crooked road, and yet. 
We know the creator of the universe and the loving God who crafted us calls us to holiness. And yet, today Moses is exhorting the Israelite people to live good lives, to follow God's laws. He encourages them. He reasons with them. He threatens them. He tells them how simple, how easy, how wonderful life is when they follow God's laws. Today, dear Lord, let me hear Moses' words come across the millennia and inspire my heart in closeness with Thee. Through Your laws, Your decrees, and Your commandments, strengthen me in discipline to enter into Jesus the narrow gate who came not to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. And let me close today with Isaiah thirty-three, twenty-two: For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king. It is he who will save us. And to that I say, Amen. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Dr. Jerome Lavelle. And our word of the day is the narrow gate and the straight path. Until next time, be well and be blessed. Mm -hmm.